I've made a bit of a mess of the uh, driveway this morning, but we need to give her a quick clean. Um, it's probably going to be dirty by the time we get over to Wales anyway, because, you know, Welsh roads and all that sort of thing. But not too bad for a quick clean up. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs> back to Flat Cat Motoring. Um, today I am obviously a very good friend of mine um, called Reese, who has a lovely Mark 1 MX-5 J Limited. I'm um, going to be making a little video um, on why the MX-5 is a perfect starter classic car. So, hope you enjoy. So, I'm being helped out today by uh, a fellow YouTuber and she is my good wife. So, this is Cat. From Cat's Automotive. Hello. She's going to be helping me doing a bit of filming today. She's also my good wife. So, um, yeah, if you haven't followed her, go, go please follow her channel. I'll put a link down below. Welsh forests we are. Anyway, enough cocking about. Let's go and have a look around at this little beautiful car. Why is the MX-5 the best project car to get started? To find out, we both went for a drive in each other's cars to have a chat about some general Mazda bollocks. I love that sound of it. But if, if, I, if she did ever go and I was going to get another Mark, Mark II, yeah. I'd get an 8 I wouldn't get a 1.6 this time. You'd go for a 1.8, would you? Yeah. I was aiming for a 1.8 with the Mark 1. Mm -hmm. But every single one I was, I've found, yeah, it's either one point six, yeah, 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 and or and auto only, yeah, yeah. So it's it's all odd at the time, minute when they all sort of like they all sort of crop up at once. Mm. Yeah. It's literally I was looking on there for months before I got rid of my bath. Yeah, and every time I was looking, it's literally auto, 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 auto. So, so what did you ask? Do you add, do you add the, the Mark II first? Yeah, the Mark II point, Mark II point five, then, silver. Then the three. Then the silver Mark Then III. the silver Mark III. Then the red. Yeah. Then I had the copper red Mark III, two litre sport. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good or, cars. And uh, that's the one car I still regret letting go. Yeah. Because I don't think I've ever done a Mark III. I, I spoke to that, um, oh, what's his name? Is it Neil? Oh yeah. The guy who's going to be helping down handling this yeah. year. 
I've been speaking to him and he wants to do one as well. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, the way? Mark III's a lovely car to drive. Yeah. He, they're more firmer on the road than the Mark II. So why don't we why don't we answer the question then? Mm. Why is why is the MX5 the best starter? Uh, Starters, mm. passing car. And for a moment, and the I shall get. Yeah, I've been recording since we left. No. <laughs> oh, we have, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, yeah. sorry, mate. Yeah, well, the classic Remark one or the MX5 in total is is the best ideal classic car of, just for starters, simply because of the fact that the there's so many of them around. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about uh, money. As in, you don't have to pay stupid money to get a bad one. No, you don't. Um, no, I you, don't think you, you do. can uh, you can get one for t a tidy one, even for about some sometimes, even if it's the unpopular automatic. Mm -hmm. It you can get one for about two grand. Yeah, Mark I'd say one. that I'd say that's a decent that's a decent sort of starting mm -hmm. budget, wouldn't you think? Oh yeah, I I when I was looking for Jubilee uh, Project Unos, for example, I was. I was literally, uh, she, my budget was five grand. Yeah. And I didn't really want to spend more than that as uh, I knew that I'd be able to get one for that budget. No problem. Yeah. Um, and uh, at one point, there wasn't many Mark 1s on the market. No. It, mainly autos. Yeah. There was, and there was plenty of Mark 2.5s and Mark 2s on the market. Mm. I had a Mark II in the past. I didn't. I didn't want to have a Mark II. I thought no. I was. I couldn't. I wasn't allowed to have a Mark One in the past. I want the Mark One. To, uh, yeah. It's just the pinnacle. Of, the one that started the whole thing off. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen eighty. Yeah. Eighty nine. Wasn't it? Yeah. Nineteen eighty nine. It was uh, same year as me. I was born in eighty nine. Yeah. In so I'm essentially this because it came out in September of eighty nine. I'm the same age as the MX-5. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I say, I think it's... When I mean, you think, like, parts are ready to be. Yeah, there's only one or two parts to Mark 1. Hold, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, that exhaust on your, this beautiful car, yeah. is just gorgeous. She does, uh, yeah, she does make a good noise. Fair play to her. Yeah. She does make a good noise. Yeah, so, we've established that, you know, parts are relatively easy to come by. Yeah. You've got... Yeah, it's just been... That, that one. And, uh, the joys of filming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, as we, as we uh, established uh, just a moment ago, my friend, don't worry about watching the camera because obviously you're driving yeah, yeah, yeah. Being, um, and we like the idea of living <laughs> thing is uh, we've established so so far we established the MX-5 the, the early marks of MX-5 is the best way to, to start off in not just in the classic car world but also in the two-seater market yeah I'd agree with that yeah because, I definitely uh, agree with that you, you're not spending stupid money on a car that uh, it, the apart from a bit metal work, yeah, uh, engine wise they're pretty much bulletproof. Yes, yeah, I do, I do, I do with that. Uh, pretty much uh, the Mark One. The, the scary thing about it is that uh, they didn't have to do too much to the Mark Two Point Five after from the Mark One to yeah. improve it. it literally, all essentially, they it's you're just it's a facelift, isn't it? That's all they've done, really. I mean, yeah, a lot of the parts from your Mark Ones and Mark Twos, two point four, they're all interchangeable. You could change it all if you wanted to. Oh yeah, I, I've done done that myself. I kind of got a, a soft top off a Mark Two point yeah. five. I've got alloy wheels off a two point five. The yeah. brakes are off a two point five. The, I think the only thing that wouldn't change over is the power steering mm -hmm. rack because it's got a slightly different yeah, they are on different, the yeah. subframe. They are different. They but are. like you could you can do everything yourself, can't yeah. you? I mean it's a like for you know a, a home mechanic or something like that, it's ideal. Oh Every, yeah. Everything's held on with 10, 10 mil volts or ten or twelve mil volts. And those you know those little plastic clips and that's it, that's it. Oh yeah. Uh, and fair play to 
I've, I've had them. I've had three, four MX-5s, including Project Jubilee or Project Unos, I should say, yeah. the official name, in uh, for the channel and. Uh, Parts have been so easy to come by, and there's so much aftermarket stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Or performance parts uh, available. Well, it's the, the MX5 community is a very friendly community. Oh I, yeah, it's I, huge. I mean, obviously you've got you know you've got the wave, haven't you? And obviously yeah, you know you, you pop, the... pop the lights up, and obviously you know you wave to. It's funny how there's an RF in front of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> turn that turn that around and have a look at that. That's that's my goal eventually. That's your goal, is it? The, yeah, uh, the goal, new yeah. Mark IV RF. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that black? Yes, that like is black. It's black, isn't it? Right, just pulled over here. I'm going to have a quick swap. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let Reese have a go in uh, dearly beloved Hannah. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, are you comfortable, sir? Oh, yes. I'm fair, fair play. Heat his feet as well. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, I feel like uh, I'm being spoiled rotten here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like other people driving my car. I know. Okay, so talking is done. So let's go and have a drive of Jubilee, the Mark One J Limited Auto, and he's going to let me have a go as well. Right, here we be inside Jubilee. Yes, the no, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is nice though in here. I like like the seats are the lovely, aren't they? Mm. Where you've been refoamed, you said they were refoamed? They were refoamed, they were recovered. Uh, they, they were originally cloth seats when I first bought Jubilee back in 90, sorry, back in 2020. Oh, right, okay. In September 2020, he, uh, when I first found Jubilee, she was in a dealership where a pair of gentlemen, well, I, I use the word gentleman very loosely. Uh, it is, uh, she was there and she looked very unloved and mm. uh, they looked like they tried to do a shabby paint job on her because there's paint, paint runs all over her, but uh, it was literally, the, it had a, still had a cassette player. Oh right, okay. Car, but did have a multi CD multi changer in the boot at the time. That's quite a rare option, isn't it? Yeah, no, it wasn't the original radio. Yeah. It was a Sony radio. Alright, okay. I was going to say, I didn't think they ever came with. Um... Oh, no, the Mark 1 never came with a CD player. They had the cassette players, yeah. but not the, the CD. But with the Mark 2.5, when they first came, or Mark 2s and 2, well, Mark 2.5 actually, yeah. they, they gave you the option of a, a CD player and a cassette. Yeah. It, which I, is a good, very good thing. And even as even if uh, people don't change the standard radio in the Mark 2.5, yeah, it's a good radio. I yeah. have them for years with the original radio. I think I've still got mine somewhere in the garage. Mm. Pretty sure I've still got mine. And I, this is a lot of people say you can't really use an MX-5 Mark 1 as a daily driver. Oh, I, I just disagree with that. I, I completely disagree with that to the point where. This is my everyday car. Yeah. Uh, Jubilee is. I got two cars. I got uh, Jubilee 1991 Mazda Unos Roadster J Limited, one of 800 ever made. Yeah. It, one of six in the country. Yeah. It, and she is used every day. Yeah. And then my other car is a, another rare car, is a 1979 Triumph Dollar My SE, which will be appearing on yes, Black Yes, no, we will be doing one. We will be doing a video of that at some point. And um, we can also go in, back into the depths of uh, what Triumph were doing back in their heyday. Yeah, that'll be good, yeah. yeah because, be uh, good. but we'll leave any more tips. What is that? Oh my God. It's the pink mini that lives, lives it up here. What on God's earth is that? Elliot, I think this we found your worst nightmare here, mate. <laughs> that is definitely a candidate for desert island cars. <laughs> yeah, that particular car. What on earth is that? Uh, I it picks up really well, doesn't it? Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed. I'll be honest. 
like the, the pickup is you know considering it's what 30, 30 32 years old now okay. and of course here we go it does make a good noise as well doesn't it oh yeah she does yeah and she when she wants to go and when she's on song she does a lot of stuff she no. hates going slow yeah so uh, and the uh, the joys of the pop-up headlights. Yes, <laughs> it's one thing I do. Uh, I do miss about not having a mark on his pop-up headlights. Oh yeah, the it, it's just every time. All I got a, a couple of local children in my area, and even when I'm at a car show, they're looking at the front end of uh, Mark One or and or any Mark One and Jubilee because the color. Yes, yellow. Yeah. But as soon as I pop up the headlights, it's like wow. Yeah. Oh, and I had one little boy called it Bumblebee. Oh, right. From the Transformers films. It's funny you should say that, actually, because we came down when you were at Hayes. Yes, sir. But I bought, uh, I bought Toby down as my little boy, and he loves this car more than he loves mine. I think that was a hint of his Yeah, there was definitely time. a hint there. He was, uh, Anna, it's a nice car, but Jubilee, is more wanting because I think yellow is yellow his yeah. belt no, is yellow well. is his favourite colour well, yeah that's the one thing it, this was a uh, I had done when I had the interior done brand new yellow seat belts yeah, yeah. well they're not dyed I, I can't get over how comfy it is like yeah. obviously when you had the, like the phone like obviously now you've had the phone redone mm. it's, it's really nice it's, it's really word, nice it's word manners is, is literally I've, put, I've filled up the tank uh, from a foot, quarter of a tank earlier. It's not even used above the, the full needle. No, no. Mind you, I've got a catalytic converter or some of these guys did that. Uh, not for much longer though, but that's another video. Yes, yeah, that'll be uh, something for the future of the yeah, channel. Yeah. Like I said, having a decat all very, you know, it's it's good fun and everything like that, and you know, but then it makes you smile. But but then it's a nuisance of uh, getting underneath and it doing, every MOT. Yeah, and doing doing long journeys because you know, obviously, you know, obviously we do a lot of shows together, and obviously, you know, I take you know me and Kat go and do a lot of you know car related stuff oh, yeah. together. So, so it's definitely if you haven't already yet, subscribe to Kat's Automotives. Yeah. I'll it's put a link it. in the description below, guys. Mm. Right. Obviously, she's she's helped with a lot of the filming today as well. Oh yes, yeah, fair play to her. She's had to put it with both me and you. Yeah. <laughs> you were uh, acting like uh, well, we've not been acting like kid children, but we've been more ooh car, ooh car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, fair play to her. She's learning more and more about cars every day. Yeah. Right. So Reese has kindly uh, decided that he's going to let me have a go. And this has been the very first automatic MX-5 that I have driven. So let's see if you can still have as much fun in an auto as you can in a manual. If you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the Lone Ranger Motoring channel. I'll put a link down below. Right, here we are then. Right, so losing automatic virginity. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, the, right, the, the beginnings of an automatic. Mm. So there's going to yeah, just let me, let me get a feel for it. Uh, enough. You take your time. There's another camper van there, look. They're all out today, aren't they? Yeah. To yell. Okay. So, uh, what do you think of the seats so far? The seats are lovely, mate. They're really nice. Like I said, that, that's the main reason I got rid of my Mark 1, is because I just couldn't get comfy in it. Mm. That was the main reason. But this is really nice, you know, being like passenger and, you know, and, and in the driver's seat. Just gotta remember the indicators on this. Side. Yeah, that's the only downside of the Enos is that the the stalks are all are reverse. But I, I think it's better how it stayed out. Mm. I think they got that spot on. Because they got got it from the older cars and because that is no uh, change for me because when I'm driving the Dolomite, everything's in the same places. Yeah, I was gonna say all that. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the lane you want, my friend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so pros and cons from Mark ones, but uh, before we go on to the pros and cons, ones, how are you getting on with that automatic box? It's actually nice, mate. To be fair, it's, uh, it's like I say, it's it's, it's a diff. You know, you, you think it's not going to be 
so you know different but it is you drive it differently don't you oh yourself. yes of course uh, your brain keeps on surprise at a moment and when i first started driving this car every so often my hand would go towards to change gear yeah you haven't done that yet uh, well obviously the, one of the hyundai's we got at home is an old one so that's Ooh. you know what i mean what do you think? I mean, Mazda in the 80s and sort of, you know, even some of their 90s cars, they were shocking, weren't they? Yeah. They were really bad. Yeah, they had the rebadge Ford Fiesta into a Mazda. The one you won, yeah. Yeah, and that was, it was that bad, they, they didn't continue it. No. They, they killed the car off. Yeah. Well, that's how shocking it was. But it was that they actually they when they did the, the Mazda 2, I think, was the replay. But and then again, that was a joint thing with Ford. Yeah. What a, because the MX-5 from the Mark 2.5 onwards have got a couple of bits from Ford. They do, yeah. Oh, so, so the I've got Ford bits on mine. Hmm, it's like, uh, for example, the ignition keys off a of Ford Ranger. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. The, but uh, as people can see in, in uh, the background, another aftermarket part that you can get for the Mark 1s and 2s, oops, is the TR Lane roll bar. Yeah. That is the proper GP, the racing roll bar. It's not there for, I don't track tubes because I like the idea of having my car on pistol. <laughs> all, all, uh, it's the fact that if, let's say for example, something rolls you over, it'll save you. Yeah. It's unlike a style bar, and if anyone's planning on putting a style bar on their car, fair enough, if that's what you want, yeah. that's fine, but my, Honest opinion, never put a star bar on, put a proper roll bar on. Because if, if you're gonna, if you're gonna track, yeah, oh, if you're gonna go on track, then yeah, mm. always, always get a proper. Yeah, or even do what I do, proper bar, because then you know it's gonna save you. Yeah, because modern roads of today, they, you don't really know what what's gonna happen. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's very true. It is very true. Uh, <laughs> he, he, and uh, when we get into the tunnel, all you need to do is put, take your oh, foot yeah. off, yeah, slightly off the throttle, and then bump it down. <laughs> um, I tell you what, mate, I'm, I'm in, I'm impressed. I really am. It drives. You know what I mean? It doesn't drive like a manual does. Yeah. I think there's, even though you're not changing gear, I think you want to think a little bit more. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean you know, you say that you know. You drive in an auto is actually easier. I don't think it is. To no, be it's about the same. It, it's about the same. Well, yeah, you know, you're not, you know, you're not changing gear or whatnot, but you've still got to think about, you know, if I need to, you know, kick it down or whatnot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or drop it down a couple of gears. Yeah. Because, uh, with an auto, so uh, you got to put your foot off the throttle and then ramp it back on to drop it down a couple of gears. Yeah. Was yes, it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up the legend. Drop the speed a minute. Legendary uh, bring glass tunnels, boys and girls. <laughs> girls uh, and Reese is from Wales, if you haven't realised. Yes, yeah, so Newport, <laughs> South Wales, boys and girls. And if you ever see me out and about, please come up and say hi. I don't bite much. Bye. Oh, right. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So you said the, the exhaust on this is pretty much standard, isn't it? Uh, no, it's a long life exhaust. Oh, it's a long life exhaust, right. Yeah. Let me get off. Yep. So, but there are there are many aftermarket oh, exhausts yeah, you can uh, buy. Lots of exhausts that you can get. It's uh, like the... Cobalt would Cobalt be my suggestion. Cobalt is the main one. Yeah. And uh, to uh, the uh, Asim, the good man. And, uh, yeah, the Cobalt is the main one. It's the big one that uh, people know. Yes. So yeah. It's the biggest brand that a lot of companies like Moss, Moss, for example, MX-5 parts. But, uh, one that I'd also recommend, which I've got on mine, is um, Gravity. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're very good yeah. resource. That's actually what I'm going to get the uh, cut-off from. Cut oh! Yeah. From. So they do all, like, all they do. I think they do a 200, a 300, and a 400 cell. Right, so we're just heading back now, uh, everybody. So, the uh, answer to the question is, is the <coughs> auto as good as the manual for fun? 
I'd say it's pretty much up there, to be honest with you. I, yeah. I'd say you could probably, yeah, I could say you could probably have the same amount of fun oh, in yeah. an auto MX mode as you can a man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, the automatic box wants to go as much as does, the manual yeah. box does. Um, it's just about your preference, mm. really. Um, it's, again, it's, it's an ideal, you know, starter classic for anybody really you know whether it be auto manual you know mark one two whatever you whatever you like or whatever fits your budget yeah so we recommend probably start at about two grand yeah two grand yeah. and my recommendation uh, if you if uh, you don't know much if you if you're not that good as in uh, not that confident as in uh, working on your cars yourself a mark two or 2.5 if you to start off with because yeah. then you can get the use of how to live with an MX-5 of first. Of course, yeah. Because it's Tim, the, the, the Mark, fair enough, the Mark II has got his own quirks, but uh, yeah. you can get used to the Mark II first and then progress to the harder to find yeah. tidy Mark I. Yeah, that's how I started. Mark II was my first one. So, I'm going to summarise. So, you know, it's the, it is one of the ideal stuff. I mean, there are other cars you can oh, yeah. get. I mean, you know, you can just... BMW Z3. Yeah, um, the, MGs, again, are oh, a good yeah. starter classic. Yeah, the, the MG BGT, you can literally get bumper to bumper. If you've got the money, you can build a brand new one. Yeah, but I'd say, wouldn't you say this is right? This is right up there. Oh, yeah. One of the uh, best starters. Isn't it, it? Is, it is the top five. Okay, so, um, obviously, we've mentioned the rust before. You yeah. Know, and make sure, you know, obviously, have a good look around your car. Obviously, the car that potentially you're going to go and buy, you know, take a magnet. As oh well. yes, uh, the uh, to avoid that uh, possibility of uh, filler. Yes, yeah. Uh, because there's a lot of artists out there that will uh, make it look better than it is. Is but that's sadly the uh, the so. truth of the uh, the car world. It doesn't matter who you're speaking to. You are always going to get the cowboys. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, join me to partners on your drive. Yes, please, bud. I was going to, I was going to ask you that actually yeah. because uh, saves me having to do it later because it saves me having to get in close to the curb. Yes, <laughs> uh, and uh, I know you wouldn't, but possibly that scraping my black alloy wheels. Yeah. Also, I know what I, I know what you mean about the reverse, and it's sort of it's jug, juddy. It, yeah, it's that's the only drawback about the auto box. I think it's, it's you've got to think. I mean, you know, the car is thirty-one years old now. Oh, know. she'll love you. She's thirty-two. She's right. She's thirty-two. It's a thirty-two-year-old automatic gearbox. Mm. You know, and you think about that, and you think, wow, that's you know mm. what I mean. But it, it's surprising. Be lovely, there, bud. It's surprising how how responsive it mm. is. You know what I mean? So we've said that. Um, so yeah, obviously we got overdrive as well. Which oh yes, yeah, so, yeah, because it's, it's the, anyway, the automatic it? gearbox is a four-speed four-speed with overdrive. So effectively, you get the five gears. You get you still get effectively. So you're not five. losing out. No, really, you're not. You? You're and not uh, out. you'll probably find that uh, it's easier to get the automatic cars and just convert them if you don't want an auto box. Because this garage is like Mark down to all MX5s. Agreed. For six hundred pounds, we'll p get you the manual box into an auto. That's not. Uh, it's not a bad price actually. For for a manual conversion and supplying all the parts. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, definitely right. I mean, if you would, if you think about it, an auto one is like more likely to be more well looked after. Yes, because people don't it? tend to fresh them. No. And um, because they. People who don't know nothing about cars tend to go, oh, the auto, auto's crap, I don't want to touch it. And then uh, they'll badmouth the automatic wherever they go. Yeah. Whereas the automatics uh, tend to be, it's like this car, for example, Jubilee, she was on 65,000 when I first bought her. Uh, the only reason why she's on the mile that she is now is because I use her. Yeah. I, I enjoy her. Yeah. And that's, you know, cars should be, you know, used. Mm. That's why they're fitted with wipers. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't understand yeah. people who don't take their cars out mm. in the winter. I, I, but you know, that's that's me. Right. Cars are fitted with wipers mm. for a reason. Oh yes, definitely. To summarise, this really doesn't make any difference whether it's manual or auto. You can still have fun. 
And it still does this. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> what you need the most. That's what, the only <laughs> downside of the Mark 2.5 is you can't do that. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, Bruce. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, there we have it, guys. want to thank thank Reese again for um, letting me, obviously, have a go in the auto. It's not a really, actually, to be fair, it's actually quite an, a nice, enjoyable experience. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still more a manual person, but I still think that the auto MX-5 is still... You know, a very, very capable combo. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Until next time, we'll catch you again. Stop it!